Where is it? And um, we focus on, okay, this is okay. This is how I'm supposed to be. This is how others are supposed to be. And uh, this is how people can love me and accept me, like consciously. But, I mean, you never know or if the decision that you made was a conscious or a subconscious decision. But when you go like, okay, this is how the world is supposed to be. There are three consequences. First of all, the world isn't only this, the world is everything. And what your parents ta taught you was their um, experience of right and wrong, okay? Their opinion of right and wrong. For others, completely different things are right and wrong. And if you had been born and raised in another country uh, with another religion and a different culture, you'd be a complete different person, okay? So right now, it's the beliefs you're programming who you are or who you think you are. So, and the thing is, the first consequence is that if you only focus on this, if this is right, the, these other things are gonna happen anyway, that's life. And when it hits you, it hits you really hard, okay? If you're not open to these things, it's gonna press your wounds and it's gonna hurt. So if you go, no, my, my child has to be this and this and this and this and that. And when it acts like that and that and that and that, oof, shit, what a horrible kid I have. So the second consequence is when your mind is narrowed down is that you're not able to see different possibilities, okay? If you're in a bar and there is this beautiful woman and uh, you want to go over and talk to her, uh, but she, she looks at you and she looks away, what you're used to, Okay, like it's being rejected and it's still, that's what you expect. Uh, oh my God, she looked away again. She's not interested. She just rejected me and she's going to reject me if I go over. So there are millions of possibilities that could happen in that moment and what she could be thinking. How do you know what she, what's going on through her mind? The thought that pops up in your mind that she's going to reject you comes from within you because of the past experience you had. So different possibilities uh, is she could have, like I talked to not one of the speakers, Noah, and he said, when a woman looks away, I think she's intimidated by me. Like, it's a possibility, isn't it? Or she could n not have seen, you, she could have been like lost in her thoughts. Uh, she could think, oh, he's handsome and look away again. But what you think is she just rejects me, she's not interested, she's gonna reject me if I go over. And the third consequence is if you're, or like with the second consequence, for example, uh, when I was a kid, they used to tell me a lot, I'm fat. So that was just my identity. And even I used to be slimmer like now, like five kilo less, and I thought I was fat. Okay, I couldn't see it. And then I saw pictures of me years later, and I thought, what? I was that slim? And it was really like arms like that. I wasn't anorexic, but I was really slim, and I. I wasn't able to see it. I looked in the mirror and I thought, oh, here a little bit and there a little bit and there a little bit less and then I'm perfect. I, you're not, you can't see different possibilities that she actually is interested in you. And the third consequence is that if you don't change these, this narrow mind, whatever you want to do consciously, you're never going to get it or it's going to be real hard work to get there.